ready and try to pack Matthew some lunch before Lucy gets up and then we have a fun day planned we're gonna go see my aunt my dad's sister we haven't seen her in a long time here's a fun fact if I ever make you food and it requires the use of mustard, then that's an act of true love. Like, could break a curse act of true love. Ugh. stuff done. I obviously got showered and dressed and ready, got Matthew's lunch packed, got the dishwasher unloaded and then reloaded with stuff that uh, showed up overnight because you know our friend Kenneth loves us and he works um, until midnight and so when he gets off work he often eats and then there's stuff you know in the dishwasher or in the sink so I've got that stuff rinsed and loaded and I've got dinner going in the crock pot which is all good if I have another minute I might go ahead and just put all the dirty diapers in the washer so that when Lucy gets up I just have to put the one she wore in she wore overnight into the washer and start diaper laundry but I mentioned today we are going to go visit my aunt my father's sister my crazy aunt Carolyn she and I my dad was one of 11 and so um, obviously I, I have a better relationship with some of his siblings than others and Carolyn's probably the one that I'm closest to but even then, I haven't seen her in a long time. This is kind of weird, but like when my dad first passed away, I was 16 and my sisters were eight and nine, but um, like they were, su especially Karen, Carolyn, was super involved and was like always helping my mom and stuff. And like, they're definitely the type of family that like comes running when you need them. And then between like, I became an adult, my mom got remarried and moved away. We still see them, we're still friendly, there's like no animosity, we just don't see them as much. And so it's totally my fault too. Like I need to go make an effort and go out and see them more. They were here for like my baby shower. Um, after Lucy was born, they, you know, they all came to visit her and see her. Carolyn's been a couple of times, but it's been a few months anyway. So I wanna go out and visit her. She also has my cousin Richard lives with her and my cousin Richard is probably one of my favorite people in the world. He's just, um, super super sweet he's also a fun fact the, the only person my dog has ever bitten he um he comes along on pretty strong and he got right in howard's face one time and it was no bueno um but anyway yeah we're gonna go out and visit and maybe lucy will get to play out in the orchard she has an almond orchard and all kinds of fun like quads and stuff maybe richard will take her out because i'm not a great driver on the quads my uncle robert not Uncle Robert that buys Lucy all kinds of purple stuff. Uncle Robert that's married to Crazy Aunt Carolyn would love to tell you the story of me not being great on the quads. But anyway, it should be a fun day. We'll see. We'll see how much footage I get. I haven't really told her about YouTube. Because it's like this weird thing to be like, hey, we're here to visit you. Can I <laughs> film in, film you and edit it and put it on the internet for the world to see? I don't know. It's kind of strange. We'll see. Look who's up. Can you say hi, guys? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> You're so silly. Well, she's awake. I'm gonna feed her some breakfast. Well, it's 10.30. My kid gets up at 10.30. She goes to bed at 10.30. Eh, watch her 18 month update. But we're on like a shifted schedule. So I never know quite what to feed her when she first wakes up, but generally I go with breakfast foods. So, you wanna have some breakfast? <laughs> yeah. My newest pro tip is to do her, do your kids hair while they're eating breakfast, that way they're contained. And also, I don't get her dressed until after she eats breakfast. I used to always 
dress her and do her hair upstairs and then bring her down. But now she eats in her pajamas. I bring the, the clothes down like at the same time we come down. But that way if she gets yogurt on her pants or whatever, it's the pajamas I was about to take off of her anyway. Mama, mama, mama. Say, I'm gonna go visit my crazy mama, aunt Carolyn. Mama. Are you excited? Daddy. And go see the dogs? <laughs> yeah. Thinking about how to get up on that fence is what she's thinking. Uh oh, Luli. <laughs> and here's Carolyn having a heart attack. I am having a heart attack. Boy, she's gonna go down. I promise she does this every day. You gotta give Great Auntie a heart attack. She is the most. I think she's even more determined than mine more. I think so. Well, I don't know. Yours are pretty determined. Give her a little while. <laughs> no. What happened, Lucy? And I have a puppy. Puppy. Yes, puppy. Hey, puppy. <laughs> okay, you want to get down? I think she's going to need one of those wooden slides. And oh, yeah. Big stuff to climb on. But we had so much fun. Like I said, I haven't seen them in such a long time. And it was just good to be there and visiting and my cousin Richard, um, Lucy loved him so, so much. And she tore apart their backyard <laughs> and climbed on everything and had so much fun. But when I was on my way home, Lucy was kind of falling asleep and I thought I would drive through and get myself a Starbucks and kind of pull over by a park and let her nap in the car seat. I tried three different Starbucks. Excuse my hot Cheeto fingers. Lucy and I are sharing a little snack, a naughty snack. But, um, I tried three different Starbucks and I can't get my hands on a unicorn frappuccino. I waited too long, so I'm bummed. I heard they were super sweet and I tend to like things that are like overly sweet. But oh well, I'll catch the next big thing, I guess. But we're just hanging out. Lucy's down here, huh? She had so much fun. And like I said, we're sharing, sharing some hot Cheetos. Here, you want one? Yeah. She had a healthy lunch at Aunt Carol's, so I don't feel that bad about junking it up with the Cheetos today. She had some fruit and some boiled eggs, so that was pretty good. But yeah, we having a good time, just hanging out. Got a lot going on this weekend that I gotta prepare for. I need to go wash my um, guest room sheets and stuff because Uncle Robert is going to stay with us this weekend. <laughs> you guys, Matthew has to work so much lately and he's concerned Lucy's gonna forget who he is. So he sends me pictures sometimes of him at work and wants me to show them to her. And so usually she'll smile and get excited. So let's see what she thinks today. So there's our picture of Matthew. Who is that? Who is it? Daddy. Daddy, do you love daddy? <laughs> yeah, you're so cute. See Maddie, she knows who you are. She remembers. I am working on getting the rest of dinner together. I have chicken in the crock pot, but I'm doing rice to go with the chicken and some steamed broccoli. It's like the only vegetable I ever make. I need to broaden my horizon. Sometimes we have like other girl vegetables, but lately it's been a lot of broccoli. But this girl is hanging out over here. I guess I didn't catch her doing the cutest stuff. Now she's just trying to close herself in. What are you doing? Yeah? You're so silly. Are you closing yourself in? She was sitting on the stair right here, like in between the very edge of the stair and the gate with her snack, just watching cars drive by. 
Here's Dilly. People are coming home from work, so there's plenty of cars going by. Here's Dilly. Let's leave it open so we can have cool air. Goofball. Here's the dumb goof. Here, let's open it back up. Do you want to sit back in your spot? <laughs> you feel that nice cool air? Yeah. Sometimes I'm a little afraid to have her over here with the front door open. Like obviously we have this nice screen and people can't really see in. But I'm usually like on the other side of the house, like way over here. And so it just makes me nervous to have her hanging out over here. So I try to pay extra close attention. Huh, silly goose? You guys, I had an absolute panic attack when I undressed Lucy for her bath. Look at what was all over her back. And so I freaked out and thought something like had attacked her, like there was a bug biting her or something. And then I realized that I have it on my arm too. Just not as bad like that, but just barely there. There was some over here on my wrist too, but um, I guess it's like little hives from the grass. I've never gotten a reaction from being in the grass, but that's the only thing I can think of because I was sitting with my hand like, you know, like that, and Lucy was just straight up rolling in it being crazy. So that must be what it is, but I freaked out. And we both got sunburned a little bit. You can see on my face and her poor little arm got sun. And are you dancing for the mirror? Please excuse my dirty mirror. It's got little Lucy prints all over it. Yeah. You're so silly. She loves to dance, loves her reflection. You're silly. But we are gonna go ahead and say good night. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And also make sure you're following us on Snapchat and Instagram for little daily pictures and video clips of what we're doing. And we'll see you guys next time. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? <laughs> say bye guys. See you next time. Bye.